Hello everyone, this is Jozef Not here and in this tutorial I would like to show you how you can use the improved version of set fields to uh, generate a more realistic profile of your initial fields and for that I set up a simple case here and I'm going to give it to you as a zip file and we will take a look at this case and run it. It's a very simple 2D case and we, I will only run block mesh and then the utility that I am going to show you, so no simulations here, it's just for you to understand the basic idea behind this new utility. Okay, so I brought up here my bash and if you're following along in Ubuntu then just open up a terminal and go to the location wherever you are storing this case file. Okay, so by executing block mesh, ah sorry I have to go into case and now if I have execute block mesh now I can open up the results in Paraview or the results, the, the mesh, it's a 2D mesh as you can see and it has 100 cells in the Y and the X direction and then one cell in the Z direction but that's not important so 100 cells, so 100 by 100 cells and what is more important is here this, these two um, files here. So set fields is something that you you know and love so if I just execute set fields then we will change the uh, initial values of t um, within this box in the center and if I uncheck skip zero time refresh apply now if I show you the temp the t value now you can see that within this box we changed the, velo the velocity, the temperature or the t value from 0 to 1. So this is something that you know and you can define here. So a sphere, a cylinder or even use STL files to define this region inside which you want to modify the values. But now with the second option here you can now define certain expressions. And this is very similar to the utility um, funky set fields or swag for foam if you know uh, these functionalities. Here now you can define different things. But before I do that, let me just reset here my T file. So I have an org folder where I have a backup files of our initial conditions. We will not use the velocity because I'm not running scalar transport form but in order to reset the, uh, the T file just copy it from Oric and then it will be reset to the original settings. Now and let's go through the set expert fields dict. So set expression fields dict here. What can you define now? So at, at first you define which field you want to modify, it's our T field and then you can define constants and variables. And for example the center of my uh, circle that I'm going to or sphere that I'm going to uh, define here in this case it's in the center and then I defining a radius of 1 meters because it's uh, uh, this geometry is going from minus 5 to plus 5 in x and y direction. So I'm just going to work on the center. Okay and then we can define certain conditions. So in which cell do we want to do a, a certain, create a certain expressions and now here the syntax is a bit uh, more complex, more closer to programming than uh, maybe some of you would like. So what do we see here? So for example here we have the radius. So we have a certain condition and if this condition is smaller than the radius that we defined up here then this expression should happen. And let's take a look at what happens here. So we have here position. So this is the cell center of each cell so that if the difference between the cell center coordinate and these uh, in constants the center if this the, the vector cell center coordinate vector minus this vector is smaller than the radius then something should happen 
Okay, so this is just definition of a circle here in 2D and uh, then the expression that is that we want to set everything, all, all the cells the value of 1. So if I just do that, set expression fields and press enter, you know, something is happening here. And if I just refresh now, you can see that we created uh, a value of 1 inside of our circle. Now, this is something that you can do with set fields. There's nothing new here. Uh, but, for example, you can add a second line, which is the, which then takes into account the Y coordinate of the cells. So, the, if the first condition and end the second condition is met, and the second condition is that the Y coordinate should be higher than 0, then we set the value of 1. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just resetting the file and then set expression fields. And with that now, I am only defining this. Uh, ah, did I not save? Yes, I did not save. So let's just re-execute this. Okay, and now refresh. And now we only do, did it for the upper half. So with this, you can now define multiple conditions. So you can just do it for one half of the, of the circle, or you can just define a box or any kind of shape that you want and do it for the positive Y values, the negative X values, the, the Z values. And then you can play around. You can define different constants, different vectors, different variables. So it, you can just knock yourself out and try out everything. And now regarding, uh, now I want to go back to only my uh, uh, circle and instead of setting everything to one, I prepared a couple of expressions that are more uh, advanced and cannot be used in set fields. So for example, with this, we will take a value of one and we will subtract the Y coordinate. What happens here? So if I just re-execute this, now you can see at plus uh, one, uh, we, um, so here we have um, um, a plus one. So if I, uh, the coordinate is plus one, then it uh, um, subtracts plus one. At the center, it subtracts zero from one, from the value of one and then if it becomes negative then it even goes up to two which doesn't make sense for scalar transport form but this is the express so you can create a linear um, distribution within this circle then another possibility is to use this mug position uh, um, definition so the cell center coordinate minus or center coordinate should uh, be uh, applied to um, to the cell center values. So if we are in the center, then we will have a value of zero. And if we are far away, then this value will increase. So if I just re-execute this, let me see what happens here. Yes, if I rescale it to one, then at the center we have a value of zero and then it increases radi radially. Another possibility is to uh, do, uh, to do the, uh, this for the Y components. For example, what happens here? Now you can see that here uh, at the top we have a, a, a value close to 1 and then in the center we have a value of 0 and then it is again close to 1 because here we took uh, the magnitude and not the actual value like here in the second option. And then I also prepared uh, another option uh, in comparison to this where I um, have a constant value. I could have defined this here uh, in, in constant, so a constant value of 0 0.5 and I'm also scaling it with 0 0.5 and in this case it's 1 minus this expression from before, so I don't want to have a 0 in the center, but uh, actually on the very edge and in the center it should be one. So now let's see what happens. If I execute this condition, then 
or our center will be close to one and then on the edge we will approach 0 0.5 so you can even modify the distribution and i think this is pretty cool to define for example temperature distributions or or, or any kind of distributions that you need for an initial conditions and i was approached by several of uh, several people how you can define such things in open foam and i told i had to tell them that it's only possible to define constant distributions with set fields and they should go for funky set fields or swag for foam which you have to compile additionally and a lot of people don't like compiling so um, so I, I think that they didn't do it but now there is a possibility to do it with Within the standard open foam version of 1912 so just knock yourself out change the center value change the radius change the conditions change the expressions and then if you need something like that for your projects then utilize this this can be uh, extremely important in certain projects so I hope that you liked this video and that you learned something and that you you can utilize this possibility in your um, simulations. With that, I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.